lion cubs and woolly lambs and big fat fuzzy bears holy poly elephants lipping with the hair monkeys climbing tall giraffes and tickling their ribs heaven is a happy place and heaven is for kids just in case you're getting old and think you cannot go i hear they don't check wrinkles there or hair that's one like snow in fact the way i hear it they welcome you right in and just before you know it you'll be a kid again singing songs with angel bars or eating angel food mm. running around the countryside or city streets of gold wow. your imagination then begin to kids and happy sabbath it's aunt rain again and kids jesus loves each one of us and god loves us in many different ways that is why in our children's story we talk about the 28 fundamental beliefs of the seventh day adventists last sabbath aunt evange tells us about the two deaths one is the natural cause and jesus calls it sleeping in the grave just like how lazarus explained it was it was like he was asleep but didn't feel anything the bible calls that sleeping and it's a long nap without dreaming this sabbath morning i will be sharing to you the 27th lesson entitled into the fire let's check our memory text first revelation 21 verse 4 says god will wipe away every tear from their eyes and all the old ways are gone ellie gertie and mugsy are grannies now but when they were children they each got a quarter for an allowance every week they could use it as they please on the way to school they would pass a tiny candy store run by a little old man they look forward to stopping in the store on their way home and spending a penny for something sweet back in grandma's day they could buy a small baby ruth a butterfinger a pack of gum or a candy cane for a penny they could buy a gumballs red hots or necos my what a selection of colorful candies were arranged behind the glassy counter they would press their noses up against the glass and look and look trying to make up their minds about what they would like and finally, they would make a selection and enjoy the mouth-watering treat. Once in a while, the nice little old man who tended the store would give them a peppermint candy cane to share. Since Allie was the eldest, she would do the dividing. She would break the stick into three parts and try to make them equal. She would hold them all up to see if they were the same. And if they weren't, she would bite off enough of the tallest one to make it equal then she would say see they're all equal now after a while gertie decided hmm she wanted to do the dividing so she could make them equal she had caught on to alice trick gertie was pretty good at saving her money are you good at saving your money kids well, Muggsy and Allie spent theirs as fast as they got it. When they would run out of money, they would try to borrow from Gertie. Now, Gertie decided she was not going to be the bank, so she tried to hide her money. She was always trying to hide it so Allie and Muggsy wouldn't know how much she had saved. One summer day, 
she thought the old iron heating stove would be a good place to hide. I mean, after all, the stove was not used in summertime, and no one would think of looking there. So, she wrapped a bunch of quarters and hid them in the stove. A few years after that, Daddy cleaned out his office and gathered up lots of papers and trash. While the children were out playing, Daddy put the trash in the stove and set fire to it. Gertie saw the smoke coming out of the chimney and rushed in to see a big blaze in the stove. Oh no, she cried, my quarters! She told Daddy tearfully about the hidden quarters. We'll sift through the ashes, said Daddy. Maybe they, were, they will still be there. Now, after the stove cooled down, they carried the ashes out to the ash pile in the backyard and carefully sifted through them. They found the quarters, but they were all just melted little lumps of silver. How disappointed Gertie was. Her treasure had been burned up. Kids, when Jesus comes, all the things in this world will be burnt up. As the Bible says, there is a day coming that will be like a hot furnace. All the proud and evil people will be like straw. On that day, they will be completely burned up. Not a root or branch will be left, says the Lord of Heaven's army, Malachi 4, 1. And so, when that happens, we should not be worried because we will have a new, more beautiful things in heaven. And most of all, we will see and be with Jesus. None of the things will ever be destroyed again. Our friend Ellen wrote, God has declared that sin must be destroyed as an evil that hurts the universe. Those who cling to sin will perish in its destruction. Children and kids, the fires don't come from an angry God, all right? The fires are simply what happens when people choose to live without God's love and power protecting them. Now is the time to decide that you want to live forever in God's protecting arms. And if you do, you never have to fear the fires ever again. So that's all kids. Happy Sabbath!